Hello guys, hope you're all good. Um, welcome back to my channel um, for the next instalment with my Focus RS. Today I'm going to be talking about the launch control, which is probably the best feature um, of this car. The most impressive feature, I'd say, about this car. And before we get into the video, just a little thing about my channel. Uh, I'm looking to change the name of the channel, just uh, something that's a little bit more maybe car related. Um, bit more relevant so I mean if you've got any suggestions about names for the channel and if you could put them in the comments box below I'll take them on board and then I'll look at getting a logo done um, for the channel as well because I want to keep doing the videos and hopefully the channel will grow and I'll get more subscribers and I can do better things in the future hopefully anyway back to the topic at hand now launch control what is launch control launch control is basically a feature on this car which enables you to accelerate from a standing start very quickly. Uh, it utilises the four-wheel drive system and it just shoots you off the line uh, rapidly. It's very impressive. Now how this works is once you engage it on the car, it basically just limits the revs um, to the optimum um, amount to launch the car effectively with as, as little sort of uh, spin from the wheels as possible. So once you engage it, you just have to put your foot on the clutch make sure you're obviously in first gear and just floor the accelerator and then come off the clutch as quickly as possible and you can either sidestep the clutch or you can step right off the clutch it's up to you whichever one you want to do but that is the aim of the game basically and then all four wheels hook up and the car goes so what we're going to do today is i'm going to demonstrate one launch control this poor old car i've done about i don't know i've done eight, eight or nine launches now i think since i've had it um but Ford do say that the clutch can handle it. Um, it. It won't wear the clutch out, so we'll soon find out. That's what warranty is for, isn't it? But I don't do it too much, but um, I'll do it for you today. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll go up onto the, onto the road here, and I'll set some cameras up, and I'll go through the process with you. Right, so we're at the location now, my, my nice little filming location with my straight piece of quiet road. Another thing I quickly want to say before I launch is I launch in sport mode and leave the traction control on. I've done it with the traction control off. So there's your drive mode button and there's your traction control off button. You can see it. Yeah, so I've done it with the traction control off and I did get a bit of wheel spin and torque steer. So the best setting I think is just to stick it in sport mode and just leave the traction control on. And it will, um, it might intervene a little bit, but not enough for you to notice and it will just reduce that wheel spin slightly because although it's a four-wheel drive car you do have more power um, going to the front slightly I believe in sport mode but yeah I haven't tried it in drift um, and I haven't tried it in normal but I've tried it only in sport with traction control on and off and sport with a traction control on is the best option I've found now I can't stress enough that if you've got the handbrake on once you've put it in first and you've selected launch control you need to remember to take the handbrake off because as far as I'm aware this car will still launch with the handbrake on and obviously that's gonna that's gonna do some damage somewhere so just make sure you've got the handbrake off ideally you want to be doing it on a flat bit of road um, so you can have the handbrake off and then just launch it without any issues so yeah anyway let's go and give it a try so this is how we activate launch control so what I normally do I normally put my foot on the clutch and select first gear then if you go into the menu on the trip computer, so you scroll across to the left, that gets you into the menu there, and then you want to go down to settings, driver assist, and then tick launch control, and then you'll get the LC appear there in the corner. Now, if I floor the accelerator, holding it about 5,000 revs and that's the optimum rev range for launch so you pulled up at the lights you've got that mark 2 rs next to you so we need to activate this launch control before the lights go green so i'm quickly going into the menu down to settings driver assist launch control into first gear Woo-hoo-hoo! 
help. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is good fun. I tell you what, if you've got one of these cars, don't abuse the launch control because when you do it, it feels amazing. <laughs> it gives you like a uh, adrenaline rush. Uh, it's that good. First gear, the first gear pull is savage. And then you've got to, like, first gear's over so quickly, you've got to quickly hook up and get into second. And I find the clutch in this car has quite a long travel. So it's quite difficult to quickly get it into second gear. I found it in my Fiesta ST a little bit easier just to quickly snatch it into second because the travel, pedal travel wasn't quite as far. But yeah, first gear is sublime. And you, you do get to 60 um, in the quoted times. I, I reckon I could get it in 4.7 if I tried hard enough. I'll have to try and get a V-Box um, timer. And we'll do it that way. See what we can get. Gonna be another quick video, quick instalment, but uh, that was launch control. So, yeah, like I say, if you find yourself at the lights next to that pesky old Mark II Focus RS and you want to blitz it off the line, then uh, engage the launch control, lights go green, boom. I don't know, I'm only joking, I don't really want to upset Mark II owners. I, I love a, I love the RS Mark II, um, but this, this is a in a different league off the line, obviously, being four wheel drive. I'm sure when they're rolling it's going to be very similar, standard for standard. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about the launch, um, put it in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. But I think the next video I'm going to do my three month review, I've done three, three and a half thousand miles now. So we'll do a three and a half um, thousand mile three month review and I'll cover the little bits that are annoying me about the car as well as the bits that I really like. and just how the car is faring up to being driven daily um, so yeah should be quite interesting another thing before I go check out Road and Race I'll put a link in the description of this video make sure you click the link and watch the video we've got the Focus RS versus the M140i versus the E92 I think it's E92 M3 or is it an E90 I don't know it's an M3 um, so yeah be sure to check out that video I'll post the link in the description box below until next time guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.